Hello wonderful viewers and welcome to the very first episode of the learning of the week. So the idea behind the learning of the week is you probably know those moments where you hear a really really good life quote or someone sends you a reminder, you read it somewhere or perhaps in a video just like this one, you hear something and you think damn in that moment in my life I wish someone had told me this. So. These videos are that moment for you. Whenever you need some life inspiration or, you know, there's a certain principle that could really, really help you out, that's what I really want to give you through this series. Because I find that, you know, we write so much content down or we, we make notes of things, we hear so much stuff and very little of it stays in our minds. So in this case, for example, principles. I have so many principles written down. It's ridiculous if you saw my Evernote. And sometimes I'll read through it and I think, ah, oh, actually, yeah, this, this really applies to my life right now. So the first one I want to share with you today has got to do with acceptance. Now, I think that we honestly are the most impatient generation right now. Like, we're always rushing to achieve things. We always, you know, we don't want to be late. And when we're late, we get super frustrated or, you know, we want to achieve 10,000 things in a day almost. And we want to have, you know complete control of our lives and we get a little bit impatient or very often we fall into this trap. On the one hand, we know that something's going to take time, but on the other hand, we somehow think there's a secret magic recipe that we just haven't been told yet that is going to, you know, make everything happen 10 times faster, which is not the case. So the learning of the week that I have had is something that my mentor has mentioned to me over and over again is Lena, stop wanting everything at once. So when I was 18, I wanted, I thought by the age of 20, I've got to have achieved things. Like I've got to have achieved big things. Then by the time I'm 25, I need to have a family. I want to speak 12 languages. I want to, you know, have the best body of my life. And I'm the type of person, like I set big goals, but sometimes I'm impatient when I want to achieve them. So this is a really important reminder for me right now. And I hope that for you, it helps you as well. So acceptance. Accept the things that you cannot change while still, you know, working at your goals little by little every day because the time is going to pass nonetheless. And that's something that was really, really like a game changer for me when I realized, hmm, okay, for example, my fitness goals, I want to get to that goal body, you know, in four or five months, that time is going to pass anyway. So I can either accept that fact or stress myself out completely. Or I can just, you know, I have my plan. I do everything that I need to do today in order to get to my goal. And then tomorrow I'll just repeat. And I think on that note with just acceptance and with knowing that patience is the key and just accept what you cannot change whilst doing the things today that you can change and that you do have control over, it really is going to help you see the bigger picture on the one hand. And on the other hand as well, we fall into this trap of thinking that it has to be stressful. I know this was the case for me. I thought if I'm not torturing myself in the process of achieving my goal, then I'm not doing something right. But it's the exact opposite. It doesn't need to always be arduous. And we just end up, you know, it's like you're doing a marathon and you sprint the whole way. You exhaust your body to its absolute limits. And then afterwards, you're going to need to take, you know, almost a month's break to just recover. We don't want that, you know, so the really important thing here is that a the time is going to pass anyway accept what you can't change i know i've said this about four times now but i want to drill it into your head because it's so important and the other thing is acceptance comes through control through having a plan if you feel stressed out or you fall into this this impatient state of being then you're not doing something right and generally what that is is that you don't have a plan or you don't have control over your life. So what I do is I work, for example, with, you know, I have my Excel spreadsheets and I'm pretty organized when it comes to those things. So let's take, you know, losing weight as a goal. Let's say you want to lose 10 kilos. So find out, okay, what is realistically possible? What type of deficit do I need to achieve that? How long is it going to take for me? And also just have a flexible plan, you know, just have control over what you're doing and you'll find that you're not feeling as stressed or there's no rush because, you know, Every day I'm doing something to achieve my goal and I have the flexibility to change it up. I know it's not always going to be perfect. That's another thing. A lot of perfectionists struggle with this thing of, of impatience. 
and they just fall into this wheel of unhappiness and it just, you know, they come back right to point A where they started and think, huh, why haven't I achieved my goal? What's going on? So you don't need to kill yourselves in, in the achievement of your goals. You just need to have a plan, accept life as it is and look at the bigger picture, the long-term picture. So that was my tip of the week. So stay tuned in for the next one next week.